The Marketing Review with Cambridge Marketing Colleges. Visit marketingcollege.com to see our courses. Hello and welcome to The Marketing Review with Cambridge Marketing Colleges. I'm your host, Kieran Kapoor, and today's show has a product theme. Jargon Buster explains the Cano model of product development and customer satisfaction. And here to explain is Terry Nicklin of Keynote PR, who starts by explaining what the model is. The Cano model is a model developed by a chap called Noriaki Kano in the uh, mid-80s in Japan, and it's a really useful technique that marketers can use for sometimes called harnessing the voice of the customer. Really, it's a way of exploring and understanding better what are customer concerns, what things do they expect, what things would really delight them. What's the model about? If you imagine um, just a simple XY diagram and on the uh, horizontal x-axis you plot the extent to which you're providing features. This might be, for instance, for designing a, a new product. So in a car, more features might be things like goes faster, is more safe, has four doors, has better fuel consumption and so on. And then on the y-axis, you have the extent to which this causes satisfaction or dissatisfaction with your customers. So again, in the case of the car there, the more uh, high performance the car is, the, the more safe it is and so on, you would expect that to result in more customer satisfaction. And in fact, if you do market research, if you talk to customers, as as I hope one does, uh, and talk about what they would like from their next car, they will tend to talk in these terms. They'll say, well, it'd be great if only it was a bit quieter, if only it was a bit bigger or whatever. And so we call these things performance factors. And on our XY chart, they go from bottom left to top right. So if we're not providing things, that causes dissatisfaction or lack of satisfaction. On the right-hand side, with the, uh, where we are providing more of these features, that causes more satisfaction, we hope. But the insight that Cano had was to point out that actually there are other factors at play. Firstly, we have uh, what he called the must-be quality. Nowadays, we tend to call these the hygiene factors. So these are things that customers won't talk about in market research. They won't tell us they need, simply because they take them for granted. They assume things are going to be good or uh, that the product will have certain features. Again, to take the car analogy, uh, you would probably these days have things like disc brakes, radial tyres and so on in this category. Customers don't ask for them because pretty much every car that's new on the road today has those features. On the other hand, if those features aren't there, if we tried to market a car which had drum brakes or cross-ply tyres, customers would definitely not be happy. They would perceive that as a very down-market thing to do. The second of these invisible factors, if you like, are what uh, Cano called uh, attractive quality uh, and what we today would call delight factors. So again, these are things that customers don't ask for simply because they don't believe they're possible. A few years ago, in cars, uh, something like ABS would be a delight factor. People didn't imagine that you could have some system that tracked the movement of the tyres and if it looked like there was juddering slightly, it would back off on the braking and it does this 100 times a second. I mean, that sounds impossible. But, of course, ABS today is absolutely standard uh, and I would even put that in the performance factor category. So how do we delight people today? This is the challenge, really, for marketers to find additional insights uh, and uh, product design factors that can cause delight because over time delight factors become performance factors and then eventually get taken for granted. So today in the car industry just I guess off the top of the head delight factors might be things like um, a wi-fi connection so that you're connected to the emergency services automatically something like um, uh, you know GPS driven services so uh, the, the car will automatically head for the nearest garage if you're running out of petrol or something <laughs> I'm not sure what we have to we have to find things and by the way these things don't only apply to products if we take services uh, the model works extremely well too um, in a hotel room context for instance hygiene factors might be um, literally hygiene factors like the room's clean, smoke-free, secure and so on and delight factors uh, in the past you know a chocolate on the pillow was enough to delight the customer uh, these days it has to be fresh flowers in the room 24-hour free uh, high-speed wi-fi uh, and, and those sort of things. 
Really, I think for facilitating that dialogue, marketers should have some way of discussing with their product development colleagues the issues that affect the customer. It brings the customer absolutely into the centre of the debate. It puts market research into context as well, I think, because it reminds us that there are these other factors other than the things that customers complain about or talk about. And finally, it is, it is also a technique, and it was originally designed to be uh, used in conjunction with what we call QFD, or quality function deployment. Uh, we haven't really got time to go into that, perhaps on a future show, uh, but QFD, again, a very useful technique for, for quantifying uh, some of these factors and understanding what uh, our R&D programmes need to deliver to keep customers happy. The Marketing Review with Cambridge Marketing Colleges. Enhance your career with Cambridge Marketing Colleges. Thank you, Terry. And I'll tweet a picture of the Cano model at CMC Points of View and also put it on the Marketing Review Facebook page. And that's it for this week's show. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can do so via the Marketing Review Facebook page or on Twitter at CMC Points of View. You can also hear past shows at our Marketing Review website, iTunes and YouTube channel. I've been your host, Kieran Kapoor. Thank you for listening, and I'll catch you again next week. The Marketing Marketing Review Review. with Cambridge Marketing Colleges. Visit marketingcollege.com to see our courses.